we also have this blue diamond as an example of understanding our planet. And that, that to me is spectacular. Diamonds are rare by nature. When you look at the size, to find a carrot of over 20 uh, carats, that in itself is rare, especially for a blue one. It is very close to being a pure, flawless diamond. of the revenue you get from the diamonds, what is it used for? If you take it in the context of Botswana and what we stand for, the communities that the diamonds come from and the nation at large all benefit from the diamonds. We don't have a way of getting into the interior of the Earth. Diamonds form down there. Whatever is down there, they usually encapsulate. And they're like our space probes. Eventually, not all of them, but some of them get to the Earth's surface where we can study them. The only way you can get boron down there is by the foundering of the ocean crust. They literally sink deep into the mantle. And so that's really the excitement of diamond research in terms of understanding Earth. The idea that the blue diamond is telling you something about the very deep interior of our planet and that thing formed down there maybe a thousand kilometers inside the Earth, anywhere from a billion to a few hundred million years old, it's mind-boggling, I think, for ordinary people, but that's, that is what is going on. And so it's not only beautiful and rare, but extremely interesting.